All right, what's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with my good friend Riley Hulbert and hobbies. Natalie Champage joining Hello. us as well. We're going to be playing some old school decks from 2003. Today, we've got Scizor Muck Furret on one side against Meganium Executor Pichu. So we're going to take a second here, just explain what the decks do. I'm going to pull up, try to do some fancy animations where I have the cards popping up on the side so you guys could read them. But this deck here, the Scizor deck, Scizor, super good. This is from the Aquapolis set, the e-reader set. This card has 80 hit points. Stage one doesn't look too amazing when you're just looking at it at first glance. Only got 80 hit points and two attacks that do 20 damage and 30 plus damage, respectively, which doesn't seem too terribly insane, but it is very, very good. Snatch says before doing damage, you may choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and uh, it has to have no damage counters on it and switch it with the defending Pokemon. So it kind of brings up a target on the bench into the active position. Good for stranding heavy retreaters like Meganium. Then Heavy Metal. Flip a number of coins equal to the number of metal energy attached to Scizor. This attack does 30 damage plus 20 more damage for each head. So now the cool thing about Scizor is that you try to load it up with metal energy, which decreases the damage done to Scizor by 10. When Scizor has three metal energy on it, it is very, very difficult for Scizor to get knocked out. Add things like Goldberry into the equation, which heals 40 damage. It's a tool that heals 40 damage whenever it has 40 damage on it. And Scizor pretty much never goes down. Muck is the old school equivalent of... Uh Garbotoxin, Garbodor. So pretty much the same thing. Toxic Gas ignores all other Pokemon powers, which I might set up to try and stop his Meganium here. And for its Scavenger Hunts, its ability allows us to trade two cards in our hand for an energy card from my deck, help find those metal energies for Scizor. Now, what do you got over here, Riley? So we have the Meganium Executor <laughs> deck on my side. And the real star of the show, as far as attackers here, is the Executor. It has the Super Explosion Attack. Really cool name. This is also from the Aquapolis set, I believe. Uh, discard any number of energy cards attached to any of your Pokemon. Flip a number of coins equal to the number of energy cards discarded this way. Stack does 40 damage times the number of heads. So you can do an absolutely insane amount of damage with Super Explosion if you discard 3-4 energy cards and get some lucky coin flips, as is tradition in this format. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can get some crazy numbers, but you also have the second attack called Shot. And called Shot, you choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and this attack does 10 damage times the number of grass energy attached to Executor. So if you load up a couple grass energy on here, you can start sniping, which is already kind of uncommon in this era, and do a lot of damage to the bench, knock out support Pokemon that normally are safe on the bench. And then we also, to deal with that, we also have the Meganium. And so the Meganium has the Pokemon power Wild Growth, and so as long as Meganium is in play, each grass energy card provides two grass energy. So that's good for the called Shot attack, and you can get lots of energy spread all over your field. And additionally, we have the Pichu to help deal with Pokemon with Poke Powers. We can spread some damage on our opponent's side of the field. Really good for stuff like Entei. For sure. And that wild growth means that for every energy you got attached and you discard, you get to flip two. So right. that's awesome. So you're averaging like 40 damage per energy discarded with right. the wild growth in play. And that's just huge numbers for back in the day. I mean, that's two it's energy a... for two energy for an average of 80 damage is a lot. Right, so. right. That's the strength of the deck there. This format is a little slow. I mean, usually it's just uh, there's no energy removal. This is <clears throat> this is from the Neo sets onward. So we're playing, you know, with Elm. Now there is like the introduction of supporters here. So it's kind of this weird interaction between there is Elm, right, which is kind of like the very first supporter uh, in that it's a trainer that doesn't allow you to play any other trainers afterwards. We actually set up first right, and yeah. then we flip. Um, but then we also have uh, Copycat, which is a big supporter in this game, as, in this uh, format as well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All righty. And I will choose my starter here. And then once we set up, then we flip to see who goes first. Whoever wins the coin flip has to go first. This is the end of the Wizards of the Coast era. My dude, I think you have a Yes, we do have sleep. a mismatch sleeve, but uh, <laughs> so oops, we'll fix it later. All right, heads or tails? <laughs> Give me your heads. All right. It heads it is. All right, good luck, Riley. All right, I'll go first. Sorry. Yep. All right, cool. So I will draw for turn. And so the execute, um, we can't attack on the first turn, so a cool thing to execute to do is you can use Growth Spurt to attach an additional energy from your hand. Awesome, yeah. Um, I don't have a whole lot going really on good. in this hand. Yeah. 
but I will attach, and you have six cards in your hand, correct? I do. So let's see. Copycat, there you go. <laughs> let's see what we can get. So copycat, shuffle your hand to your deck, then count the cards in your opponent's hand, draw that many cards. This is a staple supporter for a long time. Pretty much any time copycat's been legal, it's been a staple. Really good way to get some shuffle draw in and draw a bunch of cards for your turn. Also one of the first supporters in the game. Isn't it coming back? It is. It, it is. Just it's, got getting, reprinted. it's getting a reprint. It just got reprinted in Japan. It's getting featured in that new set. We I forget it what worlds. it's called. Champion but, Road. Yeah, it's like Champions Road. Yeah. Is what is Japanese name, and it's a bunch of reprints of like cards from this era. Actually. That's awesome. Got stuff yeah. like Friend Ball as well. Super cool we stuff. Get that for worlds, shouldn't we? The yep. cool thing about copy the supporters back then. They actually go next to your Pokemon. Right, right, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so, it's a reminder almost. It's a reminder. The first, uh, yeah. The first iteration of this kind of mechanic here. Exactly. So that's kind of cool because this would eliminate, if they still had this, it would eliminate double supportering. You right. Know, I, I don't know why they the, really got rid of that. I don't know why they phased it out either. Especially but, with like Hex and stuff like that. Maybe exactly. Nice it there, yeah, it'd be would really be really helpful nice. for stuff like For hex. sure. Um, don't have a lot going on here. I think. I will just uh, go for it. Oh, awesome. Now, P2, woo! All right, we need, we got to set my top deck flying. Um, but yes, P2 is super cool in that deck as well uh, because P2 uh, snipes 20 damage to all Pokemon with abilities, so that is very good. I am going to start off, let's see, Warp Energy. When you attach Warp Energy from your hand, your active Pokemon switch Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. I'm going to Pokemon Trader away probably the uh, Muck here. And then I'm just going to go find myself a Cleffa, just so that I know that I have that consistency there. Get that Cleffa down. Now, I do play a couple of, like, retreating cards, things like that. I mean, I play a couple of, like, balloon cards, but I think that I want to just, like, warp energy that out of there. Right. Get the Cleffa into the active position. And then Professor Elm. I'm not going to play the Mantine down. I think it's pretty much useless in this matchup. It's just to help counter Entei. Entei is a very popular deck from this era, which I will be showing off as well. I just got it built. Very excited about it. Entei is just so cool. Uh, such a cool Neo era card. So super, super neat. But part of what I like about this 2003 format is that the energy removals are gone. So that is like really exciting. You actually get to set up much more of, we call it a gentleman's game, <laughs> where things kind of just seem way less three or five, than base Neo. six, yeah, you just seven. Yeah, crazy amounts of energy removal. Oh, yeah. It's those. just the Wild West out there at base Neo. I mean, yeah. you never really know. Uh, I think, let's see, I could uh, could Nasty Goo, but that seems, that seems uh, it's like suspect. It's one of my favorite attack games. All right. Yeah, we're not going <laughs> to Nasty Goo. All right, go ahead. And I've just got my Cleffas out just, just to have them. It's it's a stable board position. If this Cleffa gets knocked out, I have another one to promote. Okay, so I top deck the Cleffa, so that's oh, pretty very nice. good. I think I'm also going to play an Energy Stadium. <clears throat> so once during each player's turn, they can use this Stadium card, and they flip a coin, and if heads, they put a basic energy from their discard pile into their hands. Kind of like a mini energy retrieval every turn on a Stadium. Kind of like a mini Mount Coronet as well, kind of. Yeah, yeah, kind of like a Mount Coronet on a flip almost. Yep. Um, and let's yep. flip a coin and see if I can eat this turn. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can attempt to eat this And then turn. you can attempt to eat. Right, because the baby Pokemon will have the blanket roll, even if you're not hitting them for damage. Uh, yeah, that's about all I want to do awesome. besides eat, which I do successfully successful. pull off, so that's nice. really good. <laughs> yes, the baby Pokemon rule reads that uh, if this baby Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent tries to attack, your opponent flips a coin before doing anything. Uh, if tails, your opponent's turn ends without an attack, and all baby Pokemon have that, so it's part of what makes them so good. Yes, they only have 30 hit points, but uh, they are very annoying to get I past sometimes. I wonder if it was sometimes. intended to be like that for like to, you had to flip for other eats or maybe it was just some type of like... I think it was intended. The fact so? they specifically said a, like attack. attack. The right. wordings were very odd back then though too. Which wordings is why were I was odd one, back then. Wondering, you know, they I'm had, gonna uh, copycat. Pokemon so notoriously did not care seven. a whole lot right around this time. So. Right. <laughs> right. They probably were trying to make it ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I do like metal energy here on Cleffa. That's super cool. Because then Cleffa just becomes a little bit of a tank. Like, uh, the cool thing about Metal Energy back then is that you actually could attach your Metal Energy to non metal Pokemon, right. and it still provides you with the damage buff, except you just uh, you do 10 less damage. Cleffa obviously doesn't do any damage, so it doesn't really matter. 1, 2, 3, <laughs> 4, 5, 6, 7. I keep drawing like the cards off my, <laughs> off my deck there. That's like super annoying, but that's fine. I think, um, I think I actually like this hand so okay. i'm just going to retreat here and you go all right so i will draw for turn i have a chikorita to lay down here very cool i think i'll attach a grass energy to chikorita try and spread out my attachments a little bit 
Um, I feel like there's no harm in putting a band. There is no tool there. removal in this format. Yeah, there right, was in right. Japan. There was. You should talk about that Porygon. <clears throat> Oh my gosh! So I was reading Jason Klasinski's article, and you know, shout right. out to Jason's where I got uh, most of these lists from. I did alter, I altered them a little bit, you know, add my own flavor to them. Uh, we're just gonna Pokemon Fan Club this turn. That's why I liked this. Hand. Oh yeah, Pokemon great Fan card. Club, great card. Same thing, just a reprint. Yep. So love the awesome. art on the old Pokemon Fan Club. Me too. too. Are yeah. these ones legal? I don't think they are. I think they. Um, Search your deck for up to two baby Pokemon and or basic Pokemon, put them under your bench, shuffle your deck after. No, because they go right on your bench. Ah, uh, right. It's cl- yes. actually closer to Bridget. Right, yeah. it is, it is. I remember reading reading that it wasn't legal, and I never actually looked at the text to see why. But. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this card, this art is also getting a reprint in that Champion Road set. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. super cool. I do like that. All right, so that, I keep wanting to put my supporter I away. I know, me too. It's like very, very <laughs> habitual there. Uh, I'm going to put my Rainbow Energy onto Scyther. Okay. And then I think that I am just going to... I have not played a supporter or anything yet. Yes, you did. What did, did I? You uh, Pokemon Fan Club. club. Oh, you're right. I did. I fan clubbed. Remember but then the crazy here. thing... The cra- oh, you're right. <laughs> the crazy thing about this, though, is that I can actually... actually like... Uh, I think I like putting the Balloon Berry here. And then I can actually... Um, I can right. Pokemon Fan Club, it's then Elm in the same turn. It's not a supporter, so it's fine. Fair <laughs> game. We're good. I'm going to end up having to, I th- feel like very crowded here on my bench. I'm going to end up having to, I think, move my prizes over. <laughs> yeah, something like that. We're going to have to find, let's see, seven more cards. Yeah, Draws insane. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Awesome stuff. Yeah, let's see. What can I do here to help, to help get some more space here on my bench? Cool. There's an extra That's spot. Enough. All right. So we're going to put down the second site there as well. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, let's see. I will attempt to eat this turn. Okay. Do that. And you can still retreat unlimited amount of times, can't you? Yes, you can. Uh, In Wizards yeah. of the Coast format, you can retreat as much as you please. So <laughs> it's kind of cool. You can get out of status condition. I think you have to flip to retreat out of confusion, though. You do. Yes. yes. And then if you flip tails, you don't retreat, and you take the damage, don't you? Yeah, something yeah. like any turn might end. Yeah, something, something crazy like that. Like that. I don't yeah. know. I know it was bad. The, uh-huh. retreat, the confusion rules are crazy back then. Yes. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to evolve a Bailey. Sure. I'm going to attach another energy to this fella. I like that. And we will attempt to eat. It is. We got there. We're very, very lucky on our eeks right now. Very, <laughs> very, very, very lucky, yeah. Uh, let's see. I drew. I'm going to attach to my Scyther here. And then this is awesome. I mean, I'm just going to get to I'm gonna throw the gold berry there as well. Help that Scyther tank hits. Sure. And then I'm also just going to copycat. Yep, okay. we're going to copycat the seven. Love it. Good stuff. And then hopefully I get a scissor. I really am like... A little bit concerned about my Scyther here on the bench because if Riley is able to evolve that Bayleaf into a Meganium this turn, can bring up the Executor, potentially if he's able to get an Executor. One, two, three, four. Right, snipe for a lot of damage. Five, six, and seven. Is it damage on Executor or damage on the, or, uh, or Grass and Executor only, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But then it would be four, so you snipe 40. It, the first so. attack is all... Yeah. All energy, right? Yeah. Oh, looks like we, uh, it, um, yeah. Oh, I guess special metal doesn't Got a little bit of a whiff. Do you do you not take damage from special metal? I uh, would. So he's doing 40 now. He, he attached oh, to grass okay. and then evolved into Meganium. He could get it, yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. So that would be very frustrating. I think this hand uh, just got a lot of nothing in it. So we're going <laughs> to attempt to, we're going to attempt to eek here. See what we could do. All right. Tail. So sitting on this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I will draw. Yep. The baby rule is just any attack, right? Even any attack. Snipe, that's what Even a snipe attack, yep. Okay, so I do have Meganium. Sick. And I do have... Oh, Executor. yeah, you can't snipe through. You can't snipe through the, uh, past the baby. If it's no, a right, yeah. That's cool. Still has to flip mm-hmm. for it. I don't know if I really need a second trickery there. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's like Would if it you're hurt? scared of your Meganium getting like knocked out, then you start to build up the second one, I think. Yeah, I don't think I'm that worried, at least in the... I think you're cool for now. ...immediate future. And so you have seven in your hand. Sure enough, Riley's got the juice that we talked about. <laughs> oh, <laughs> copy- you have seven, right? I do have seven, yeah. Okay. And the cool thing about Copycat, so he can actually play Copycat 
and then still hit a double gust. Uh, the double gust won't help too much though because I would just choose Meganium. Double Gust is a funny card because it's like Riley chooses a card on my side, oh, three I retreat. choose a card on his side. <laughs> right. He's big. So you always choose you choose the hardest Pokemon to retreat usually when your opponent's using it aggressively. So you have to actually prepare your board in a way. Actually, you could do it because you could retreat into Meganium, then play Double Gust. Right. Then I have to choose any of these guys. If I choose him, you could just retreat them again. Exactly. Because there's unlimited retreat. So One, two, three. that's actually a crafty little play. Four, five. That I didn't really, I didn't even really think about that. I don't Six think. And seven. That you just retreat into your heaviest Pokemon before you double gust. Yeah, it's usually the problem is when there's too heavy oh. Pokemon on the board. Right. Like when we were playing the game with the two Mucks. Exactly. Like it didn't matter. Trader. Yeah. And exactly. I'll put it in the Which is why I think it's good that Riley's probably holding off building up the second Meganium for now. That's right. kind of what I was thinking. It's just like another gust target. Exactly. Oh, or another target. Has one retreat. For uh, what is it? Scizor's attack. And look how goofy this executor artwork is. Oh, I know. I love it so <laughs> it's much. It's so funny. Executor just has a oh, plethora of like fun cards. <laughs> yeah. So fun. Uh, Listen, he had no idea he would grow up to be a big derp tree just yeah, like no 20 idea. years later. <laughs> mere, I love a whole executor, mere man. Mere 20 years later. Mere 20 years later. I saw gonna... that Pokemon. I was like, this is one of my new favorites. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here he goes. Oh, sad. Not that sad. <laughs> All right, so you're saying there's a chance. And this is great for me because now I get to eek. Uh, but I don't, and I want to, yikes, this is bad. I need to start building up the other one for sure. Thanks, Natalie. Because uh -huh, <laughs> this could just go south. So, I mean, I think here we just, uh, we got nothing. Yeah, we just, <laughs> we just got to eek. I can't, I can't wait any longer. I need to try and go get some scythers here. So shuffle draw seven, and then Riley, it is your turn. All right, I will draw. Put down that executor. Another one. Oh Patrick boy, there they are. There. This is Eggmania over here. And I'll copycat yep. for seven. Oh my gosh, so good. Yeah, copycat after an eek is just really good counterplay, honestly. Oh, for sure. Let's get so many cards in a turn. And I love the addition of copycat to this format because before in like Base Neo, it seemed really dependent on like if you flip tails on too many of your eeks, you just lost a game. Right, where right. you know now it's like okay it's fine I play four copycat and four elm so exactly. even if I have tails and an eek I could just copy my opponent's shuffle draw right back. Two, three, four, five. Even then there's not as much punishment too like there's not energy Seven. removal there's not stuff like that. So right. It's not like you know you miss an eek and then they just energy removal your guys and you're right. like all right cool. Right. You definitely see how this is kind of like a slow burning format. It's uh it's fun though I mean I feel like in this format everybody gets to set up their strategy almost every deck gets to play whereas even in some modern like you know pokemon uh you know pokemon uh formats you know not not every deck gets to play you know you uh sometimes your deck <laughs> just like you get a donk or you you get this you hex maniac sounds like you're speaking from recent experience <laughs> uh talking about expanded right now yeah uh-huh yep and uh also i mean even learning to play when I was learning to play the game, uh, you could attack on turn one, and there was Pokemon Catcher in format without a flip. Insane. And right. cards like Tornadus and Landorus oh, and there, Mewtwo. Uh, ZPST was like one of them, like that was a that was almost like a dedicated uh, like go first over donk deck. Opponent. Yeah, yeah I to donk turn one one twenties. Right. Like, craziness. Yeah, so it is fun that you know you get to everybody gets to set up. I do like that, and I just love the artwork from this era as well. I just think the cards look just very cool, very nostalgic. Uh, definitely lots and lots of fun. These cards were hard to get a hold of. Tell you what, right, I did a lot of, lot of hunting right around. Yes, Aquapolis is one of the hardest. You uh, definitely one of the hardest sets to get a hold of. It's the last of the Wizards of the Coast era. So Pokemon, you know, Wizards of the Coast was starting to kind of fade out Pokemon cards. They didn't really, uh, they didn't really think that you know the game was. They got called shot. Oh, oh, yep, that one. There he goes. Alrighty, so he's knocked out. The Goldberry did not have chance to activate because it only activates between turns, so that uh, that was just rough. All right, we're gonna promote the Cleffa here. Or oh, no, we don't the, promote no, anything. There's no <laughs> no promotion. The uh, Cleffa stays. Okay, here's the site. The, the Scizor. Too little, too late, my friend Scizor. Uh, but that's fine. Then uh, we just are out here chilling with not a whole lot going on. So let's. Uh, I could Pokemon Trader. Hmm. I think I just uh, am going to do this here. Okay. And then I think I like just let's just get this muck up. Sure. 
And then I think I'm just gonna come up and uh, snatch the beganium and see how we do. <laughs> see how we do. So yeah, what happens here is uh, oh, I'm also gonna attempt power charge. Let's okay. uh, flip a coin. It's actually just a worse. Oh, good. It's a worse special charge. So we get to shuffle metal energy and our rainbow energy back into the deck. Very good. Yeah. Awesome. And then snatch. So we can snatch the beganium. Bring them out. Bring them out. There he goes. And I've also used toxic gas here with my muck so now uh the abilities are turned off so that is no longer a 60 damage snipe that is now 30. a mere 30. that is <laughs> much better 30. <laughs> uh, good good all right so i will draw yep well this isn't the end of the world for me because i have a double gust so... oh all right so first uh who's this i i pick first uh, yeah, your opponent so chooses first. I will pick the only guy with a retreat cost, which is your egg. <laughs> uh huh. And then who do you pick? I think I might just want to kill the muck. Oh, yeah, I could see that for sure. And then just have my multiplication back. Yes. So you want to pick the muck? Yeah. All right. There you go. So I'll evolve. Yep. And what's cool, yeah, evolve. That's amazing. Three executor out. And then you could discard off the benched ones. Exactly. Yep. And you exactly. only need to hit two heads. So that's really good. So I am going to... How many cards are in your hand right now? Uh, four. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Let's make not do that. Yeah. Hmm. So I think I will use Super Explosion. You're going to go to Clickety Clack Town here. Uh, clickety Clack. Real Clickety Clack One, hours. two, three... Four. I think Try. four feels like a good number, right? You know, your odds are that you'll hit two, right? Statistically? Statistically speaking... <laughs> we, uh -oh. we should hit two heads here. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, and okay. boom goes the muck. Oh. Uh, lots of suspense there. Yeah, lots uh -oh. of suspense. Oh. Uh -oh. Who says Pokemon's not exciting? All right, here yeah, we go. You gotta clickety clack it next time. Yeah. All, all four in the and yeah. I like the suspense. <laughs> each individual. The suspense one. was fun. That was definitely fun. That's okay. Something I like. So that was uh, that was that hap that just happened. All right. <laughs> Let's see. I think that I am going to. I got nothing much else to do. I feel like I just town volunteers these three guys back into the deck. Right. It's like a Brock's Grit kind of card, just instead of six, right, it's five. five. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I think I I just got to eek. I gotta I gotta get set up more. This is bad. Eek. Okay. I need more energy. All that. So let's. Yeah, I will draw. Get cooking here. See if we can slow Riley down at all. I mean, it's looking sad right now, but... I'm going to use my energy stadium. Yep. Get a grass. Oh, and this is horrible because now... Three, four, five, six, seven. Now, Riley is... uh, Yep. Probably... I mean, he might even be able to snipe my scissor. I don't know. I'm going to copycat. Yep. Yeah, I mean, sniping the scissor isn't too good yet. Right. I and mean, I could even like pay retreat and try and use this guy to snipe with the extra damage that he has available to him. Right. Because so I'd be sniping for 30 right now, which mass isn't fantastic it's there. It's not fantastic. I think you probably just try to blow him up. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah. I could go for like a super explosion, and if I flip heads on the explosion, and then I flip heads on the, <laughs> on uh -huh. the grass, I can knock right. out a Kleppa. That's good. I feel like sniping the Kleppa is probably better, though. You can Do you have to flip when you're on the bench? Because right, uh, you could try to... S like if something else is active, mm -hmm. I can't snipe oh, a yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I get seven, three, four, five, six, yeah, nine, seven. I think I'll put a focus band here. Super good. Yeah, awesome card. Um, Way too busted. <laughs> it's seriously insane. Um, I think I will just attempt to call shot. Okay, call shot. Okay. All right. So... Uh, talking about tool removal a little bit, finally we got our fur out to hang. That's cool. I'm going to trade two of the other cards in my hand. So I'm going to trade Cleffa and also Muck here. And Scavenger Hunt. So Scavenger Hunt. Um, let's see. Put two cards from your hand in the deck. It's, it's fine. Everybody, you know, we're kind of playing a little open-handed here. But what I was uh, going to get that metal energy to throw on there. What I was saying, though, there's no tool removal in this format. Now, Jason Klasinski in his blog, which I read to get information about all these old formats, it's a great resource for yeah, seriously cool. old decks. Really, really great resource. He did an excellent job cat uh, cataloging all of this. And then I'm going to start off with a 
copycat. How many hands in hands uh, in cards? <laughs> How many six. Uh, copycat? Yes. So he said that there is no tool removal in this format. Uh, however, there was a Japanese promo Porygon that exists that has a first attacks one colorless energy, and it discards all trainers from play. Right. So that includes tools. So right. it's awesome. Like wow, and what a cool right? card. Now it yes, and stadiums. It discards tools and stadiums. So kind of like a field blower. Kind of like a field blower, or megaphone, starting a megaphone kind of card. A and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. I got more of the same coming on back here. <laughs> that is fine. Now I think that uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's double gust. Okay. Yeah. Um let's see, not really anything too appealing to pull up. I think no matter what I pull up, you have scissor active at the end of this. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what it's looking like, yes. Uh yeah. You pull so... the fur and you make me burn that bloomberry. Oh yeah, I'll pull the fur. I didn't realize you burned bloomberry. Right, so bloomberry is like a strictly worse floatstone, which is hilarious <laughs> because yes, the Megania is coming. Yeah. Which is hilarious because uh, you know, most of the cards back in the day were just way, way better, but some of them are worse. Like, you know, special charge is power charge and requires a flip. And Bloomberry discards after you retreat with it. So <laughs> that is, that's that. Let's uh, go in with a heavy metal. 30, 50, 70. Uh, that's like a little bit bad. I feel like. Go short. Uh, yeah, well, let's just heavy metal. That's fine. I could snatch it later for knockout. You can't snatch it. You can't it. snatch because he has damage on him. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. You can only snatch a fresh, yeah, yeah, fresh yeah. fella. Well, uh, I guess we're out here, and we hope that you don't get him out of the active then. <laughs> uh, we're going to heavy metal. I probably should have waited one more turn for this, but it's fine. This is, oh, yep, 30 damage. Okay, great. Yep. Okay. <laughs> this is totally acceptable. Alrighty. But this uh, this Porygon card, so like I've been trying to say, this Porygon card super cool. And I was like looking into it, I was like, wow, like maybe I should get a couple from my old decks, see you know what it would be like to play this format with some tool removal in it. Oh, he's got the double gust. Yeah. I uh, take the fur. Okay, and then I will select the egg with no energy. Cool. And so Jason said in his article, he's like, the bad thing is like this card costs anywhere from one hundred fifty to two hundred dollars a piece. I was like, all right. That's like way too expensive to spend for a Japanese promo, but I decided to look it up on eBay. I actually can't find one on eBay for anything less than uh, like a couple thousand dollars. Whoa. It is pretty much a non-existent Japanese promo. That's there, insane. Only ones that exist are PSA versions of the card, <laughs> and it is just nowhere to be found. So yeah, uh, some really cool old stuff here in this end of the Wizard Coast era for the Pokemon trading card game, but uh, yeah, that, that was definitely a fun fact, so. Uh, looks like Pokemon did maybe intend for there to be a card that removed tools. It just never got to make it to state side. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, so I'm going to draw seven. Yep. And that is the last trainer card. I'm going to play this turn. Oh, I discard my copy yet. Let's see what I will do. This. I'll try to use Energy Stadium. Yep. And Tails. Bummer. Yeah, I have not, not got to use much out of Energy Stadium either. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so I could retreat here and knock out a Cleppo, which seems kind of good. That does seem good. Yeah. So yep. I'm going to retreat. And I'm going to snipe this Cleppo for 40. Yep, and that's just and uh, and 30. 30. Yep, and it's gone. And it's gone. Very and good. <laughs> as is tradition. Yes. Okay. So I think here I need to go attach here. Yep, do the 10 and just retreat. Okay. And I can retreat as much as I want, so I'm going to promote that Cleffa. I'm going to throw Goldberry here. I don't know why I'm doing all that. I'm going to special charge, power <laughs> charge. And that's the Tails. Oh, yeah. Another card that is worse. And we're going to bench this Cleffa as well. Okay. And let's try to just... Uh, um, let's snatch this Executor for 20. Okay. Yes. Try to just... Uh, Yep. Banana and the tailpipe scenario. This is, this is what we're doing. Yep, trying to buy a little more time. Oh, the classic banana and the tailpipe scenario. Oh, I should probably... I'm going to... No, it's fine. I've already passed. Yep. I okay. only got two cards in hand. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, I'm going to put an EXP all... Oh, the XP all is great. On Pichu. <laughs> is it the same as EXP share? Yeah. Yeah, it's that the is. same. But you discard the EXP all oh, yeah. if you use it. I'm going to pay the retreat here. Sure. And... Big egg! <laughs> oh, I would be decimated if we get this big egg going. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Uh, try to use Energy Stadium. Uh huh. Basically, no reason not to try. Oh, definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You just keep that energy flowing for sure. Okay. 
kind of like the rest of the cards in my hand here, so no reason to mess around with that. I think I will just uh, call shot a Kleppa. Oh, yeah. I mean, knocking out Kleppas for free, that's pretty much brilliant. And then Riley's just going to build up a big, stable board position. Awesome stuff. Uh, let's see. We actually are going to scavenger hunt, trade Muck and Scizor okay. into the deck. And we are... Uh, Yes, we are in a situation where we pretty much... Oh, am I out of medals? Yes, I appear to be out of medals. You might be. One is in the Discord yes. pile right now, and you all haven't right. taken any prize cards. Yep, so that's fine. Can you use all your, your power charges? Yeah, I'm going to just get that water there. I think I have no more power charges left, so yeah, I have no... Oh, I have one more power charge left. That's fine. Yep. Okay. And then we are going to Elm... And let's see. Yeah, I need to try and like wear out Riley's. See, my resources. game plan right now is not to ignore this scissor. Is to ignore it, right? You're gonna try and <laughs> snipe, snipe. Yeah. You can keep snatching all he wants. <laughs> right. I can't. Can't really snatch anything else. There's I need no to, more good targets to no. snatch, really. Unfortunately. No. Uh, I kind of. But you can't even one shot with, uh, even with what, with two heads with for. Um, Power charge. Is that gonna attack? Oh, I don't know why I flipped two. But it didn't matter. Tails. And it didn't matter. I was supposed to only flip one. Right, yeah. but it's uh, okay. You got punished for it. <laughs> oops. All right. So this you is You had a double shot again that one. Let's, Cheaters uh, have a prosper, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Grimer. That's good. The Grimer down is good. And then let's just heavy metal. He's going to kill that Grimer, bro. It's fine. Heavy metal. Uh, 50. Okay. 50 damage. That Grimer's going to go to Punish Island. Uh, the Grimer's probably getting knocked out. Yeah, so I think... I mean, but I need to try. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, like, you just dice the Grimer. Okay, then I try to knock out this Executor here. It's not like a lot of great yes. outs here. Don't forget to Energy Stadium. Oh, you're right. Energy Stadium, Big good call. Natalie Champagne. Oh, right. and Ooh, there. He's got the energy. More juice. And then, yeah. Sorry, Andrew. It's okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is a not good. Uh, let's uh, Pokemon fan club here. I mean, I need to knock out this active here. I think I just get the Grimer and just hope that that thing gets knocked out. Granted, he can... Oh my gosh, yeah. Granted, he can snipe more, you know, with the other guys, but he doesn't have three energy on any of the other guys, so we're we're fine. He's probably going to try and end, end the game with one big egg explosion. So, yes, we've got another Grimer down, and we are just going to attempt to heavy metal again. So two coins... All right, we did 50 damage, so now you see if your focus band saves you. Come on, baby. Oh. No, he's knocked out. <laughs> oh, yeah, we didn't get wiped. All right, so. so. XP all here. And the XP all gets discarded as well. All right. Good stuff. Promote that. Very I good. I think I just win here because you have I a clef on your bench. I, I just, oh, you do. Yep. Yeah. Attach. Yeah. And bada bing bada boom. Alrighty, yes, <laughs> there, he does the yeah. call shot on the Cleffa. Yeah. Good game, Riley. Good I was game. I was too big brain thinking that one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah I think so. getting the uh, the muck down and having it stick another is really important. Another different sleeve. I think. Is it? No, that's a. Is that it? It looks different to me. Mm. Oh well, I got I got to fix my dragon fix those, shields but... on that. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. I got to fix some of my dragon shields over there on that one. Yeah. They looks like I got some that might be jet black and some, some that might be black. like slate or something. No, they're probably black and jet black. Yeah, probably black and jet black. So. Either way, we'll get that fixed up eventually. But thank you all for watching these old school decks. It was a lot of fun. Thank you to Riley and Natalie for hanging out with me while we get that gameplay action. And let me know, what do you guys think of this 2003 format? What do you guys think of Scizor, Muck, and Executor showing off its stuff there? Super cool stuff. Just got this format built. I have three decks from the format now, and I'm looking to expand a little bit. I know that there's also a Feraligator version uh, for alligator with the downpour ability, the same one right. from uh, from Neo uh, from Rocket to uh, Neo, the Entei deck as well. Yeah, the uh, the Entei with Macargo and Super. Howl. Look how beautiful this Entei is. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Love that. So I do really enjoy this format. I like getting I like getting set up. Right. You know, base Neo felt a little more you know flippy and uh, uh, chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, anyways, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you're interested in getting into old decks at all, I do have a few. 
uh, older decks for sale in my Etsy store. You go ahead and check those out. Also, uh, we were playing on the Misty vs. Sabrina playmats. The Sabrina playmats are incredible. They turned out fantastic. So if you like that, that's available in my Etsy store as well. The Misty playmats temporarily sold out, but if you are still looking to try and get a hold of one of these Misty playmats, I'm going to be doing another order. You can make sure to follow me on Twitter. I will tweet out when they are available again at enjoyfriend, E-N-J-O-I friend, and of course, Riley at Smiles with Riles. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Riley also streams Twitch at Munner as well. So thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel. Peace.